And we're back now, as you can see, we're preparing for the jump off as they're rolling. Let's take a look now at the jump off course with our Peter Leone. Let's get a close up view as to where they're gonna be able to really shave the time. It's a horse race. Let's take a look. It's time for the jump off. This is where we determine today's winner. It starts with what is number jump number 15, a new jump, a nice ramp oxer that the horse and riders can really get a run at. The horses turn as tight as they can around the original fence three to this ASPCA wall. They want to make a tight turn and angle this as much as possible to then go to the next jump. I expect we'll see the, the winner today turn and gallop and do eight strides to this very big oxer, number 16. On landing, they gallop across the Hampton Classic field to this delicate meter 60 vertical. The more angle, the faster they can be because they want to go left on landing. This is a tough jump to run and angle at. They land left, fly over here and make a short turn on only the A and B elements of the triple combination. The C element will be removed. Very difficult to be at warp speed and leave these two tall, careful verticals up. But that's our question today. And on landing, it's the run to home. Our very last jump, they gallop as fast as they can to this massive FTI square oxer. And we're back now as Alan Keeley sounds the horn, ready for the jump off here at the $250,000 FTI Grand Prix World Cup qualifier, international competition, getting ready for the World Cup in Holland, but this is a jump off, seven horse jump off, Peter. What yes. do you think? We've got seven wonderful horses, three elite riders for the United States and Ken Farrington on Yuseko. He'll be leading us off with his Olympic hopeful mount, Yuseko. He was the winner of the King George V Cup, followed by Lisa Deloria and Diablo, Norman De La Joya, and Notre Star, one of our veteran champions for the United States team. Well, let's pick it up. Kent and Yuseko are cantering into the ring. I tell you, I'm, I'm a, a real fan of this horse. I've watched him from the beginning with Kent. Ridiculously scopy, fast, big stride, the name of the game here is speed and turns and leave the jumps up. Ken has the unenviable position of going first, $75,000 first prize. Let's see what he does. There's a sharp turn landing over fence one, and then it's a lot of galloping and a very careful, careful jumping to bring it home. Nice gliding gallop. He's good over one. Turning back on the ASPCA wall. Look at the angle. Wow. Did the eight strides. Now he's got to gallop across the field to this meter 60 black rail vertical. Still up. Look at that horse jump. Inside turn on the double verticals. This is so hard. Wow. Look at him go. Right to the FTI jump. Come on. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight strides. Oh, and there it is. Clear round, 32-96. McLean Ward does not have an easy day at the office ahead of him. Kent Farrington laid it down. So Kent Farrington set the pace, 32-96. That was an extraordinarily fantastic Next in round. now, next in to take her shot is Lisa Delorier. Her fan club already cheering her on. This really is a home show for Lisa. We great to, great to see her back in the oh ring boy, again at this How level. wonderful. For her to go clear in the Sunday Grand Prix with her partner, Diablo, 
Let's see what Lisa does. She has nothing to lose by going for broke. And the worst she can be is seventh place. She's got a, a medium canter. She's trying to set it up for the turn. Her ground speed is not that of Kent and Yuseko's. She did nine strides instead of eight there, so for sure she's not on Kent's pace. Hoping to leave all the rails up. Nice angled. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Oh. That's a very tall, airy vertical. Very difficult to arrive at that angle. You have to do that angle to win, but it's very, very tricky. Lisa looks okay. She's, she's, she's fine. I'm fine. I'm she's fine. fine. <laughs> she's mad at herself, I know, Diablo's certainly. Diablo's rain got caught up in his boot, but they'll take care of that. Everybody looks fine. Now let's talk for a moment. Yesterday's Grand Prix, McLean Ward went first with the very fast Piotr, and he laid it down with a very fast horse and Absolutely. won the Grand Prix out of the number one spot. No question. And remember how many were in that jump off. I mean, that was a oh, there huge... Were 13 horses 13 in horses. that jump off. And I think, again... Now, Kent's really set the pace. Oh, my goodness. He laid down the gauntlet, and McLean, uh, well, Kent went after McLean yesterday. Yep. Didn't get it done. Got slipped up in the footing. Let's see what McLean and Norman and Ooh. our following okay. riders Here we have Norman do. on course now with Notre Star. Interesting to see what Norman does here, whether he really goes as fast as this horse can go or goes as fast as he needs to go to win. Mm -hmm. They're two different things. One, to work within the limits of your horse. The other, to ask the unbelievable and capture that winning time. He's trying to set up an angle so he can get a really good turn back on the ASPCA wall. Good angle. Does the eight strides with a good left to right angle. Now he's galloping over. The key is not to touch it. Well, look at the angle. Up and over. Come on, Norman. Boy, these tall verticals are like the twin towers. Oh. A is down. He did nine strides to the last jump. Oh, so Just four make faults a note now. Of it. Four faults, 35. 05 is the time, as you can see on the scoreboard. Just so you know, Kent Farrington did eight strides to the very last jump. And when we watch McLean Ward next, let's see how, I'm sure he'll at least do the eight to the last. That's what he's gonna have to do to win. Well, we know McLean is always one to stay on stride, if not leave out a stride, rather than add, as we know. Yes. Sir. Now, where can he beat Kent? That's the question mm. right now. Perhaps a tighter turn back to number two. He'll likely do some kind of curving comeback, eight to three. Kent really flew into the double verticals. Look at the gallop. Here he comes. Look at the position. Good angle over the ASPCA wall. Three, four, five. He left a stride out yes, there. He, he did. did seven strides. There it is. Galloping over, a little bit of trouble. He ekes over. Come on, McLean. Let's watch the master. Over A, over B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. 32, oh my 78. God. There it is. By 32. Two tenths of wow. a second. Less than two tenths of a second. In. Wow. Incredible. Beautiful ride, master class all the way, two tenths of a second. I mean, how long is two tenths wow. of a second? <laughs> so now we have Aldrey Coulter and Victory DA. Now, Scott, we've got two 18 year old riders to go fifth and sixth in the jump off. And then, what, and, what, then, and then our what, youngest what, horse what, in the class. I mean, this is really, to me, more than anything, the, the girls can either put it down, go for broke. Be a hero. 
Well, this is an exceptional, two exceptional 18, competition. Two 18-year-old riders. Very, very impressive. And I have to say, McLean is grateful he has these youngsters going after him versus Dara Kenny or Kent Farrington or Leslie Howard or Margie Engel. But let's see what happens. Very smooth, very good. Good angle on this big vertical. This horse is jumping fabulously today. I mean, McLean was done already. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Does the eight strides. Oh, took a shot at it. A little on the forehand and has the last jump down. Four faults, 37, 34. Okay, we have two to go. What we're really looking at is, wow, can someone jump up and be third? We only have two clear rounds. So here she is, Lucy Davis. In a class with this kind of prize money. And the, fan, the fans love this right now, the little buck that he does before the first jump. Again, you know, if you're the coach of Lucy Davis, what do, what do you tell her to do? <laughs> Gallop. <laughs> Gallop, okay. I mean, a, a clear Gallop. round in the time is third place in this wow. this incredible class. A clear round is a medal. Sure is. Bronze. Here we go. Once she gets going, he's fine, but he sure kicks up a little bit before he goes through those start marks. Well, he anticipates the excitement to come, and he wants to go. Neat turn to two. Good angle. Does the eight strides, still up. She's trying to beat him. That's a gutsy move. Oh. Good she try by the youngster. Yep. She took a shot. She sure did take a shot. I mean, at a certain point, this is some jumping for big dollars, courtesy of FTI Consulting. Well, as Dennis Shaughnessy said, he's written many a check to McLean Ward. <laughs> Get ready again. Coming home now, 12 faults plus three time. Okay, so our youngest horse, Royce, is going to be next. And I would think if she goes for a neat, clear round in the time allowed, she'll walk away with a bronze medal and third place prize money. I think it's a good business decision. What do you think? <laughs> I say so. There is no way no. this young horse can beat McLean Ward's time or Kent Farrington's time for that no. matter. Well, it's great to see Kent and McLean at the top of the heap and it's no surprise. I mean, Kent really has high hopes for this horse and I tell you, he looks like a real contender and I know they're thinking about as many opportunities and choices that we have to develop our Pan American team. Mm -hmm. Most important for us right now as far as London is concerned and the road to the right. Olympics. Right. Very right. important right we now. We must have a good Pan Am Games or there is no London. There is no Olympic That's Games exactly right. for the United States show jumping team. Well, here we go. I hope I'm wrong. But if I was on the ground giving her any advice, it would be... A good, prompt, neat, clear round. <laughs> Leave the jumps up. <laughs> Let's collect our bronze medal and go home. <laughs> the top three go to the press conference. The top three walk away with an awful lot of money. Okay, she's got an organized canter. This horse jumped unbelievably in the first round. It's only once or twice a decade you see a horse, you know, put in a short step to a meter 60 vertical and leave it up like she mm. did at the big meter 60 vertical after the water. And Lubov's doing exactly what she should do. She's, she's going for a solid, clear round. She does want to be under that time allowed, though. She's one jump from a bronze medal. There it is. 
Good for her. In the time. Smart ride. Good ride. Boy, a, a very impressive horse. Oh. Young, our youngest horse oh. in the class. There will be a line at the in gate of people waiting to ask her, is it for sale? I'm sure Beautiful. it's not. No. So to put it wow. in perspective, McLean Ward was seven seconds, a little over seven seconds faster than Lubov on Royce. Great competition. Great competition. Sixth win now for McLean Ward of the Hampton Classic Grand Prix. Doesn't get much better than that for as far as seeing He's show jumping. He's won four, the four big classes four days in a row. He said to me the other day, he said, Donut, whatever you do, don't say that on camera because you're gonna, we'll be jinxing each other. And, and said, then, don't worry. And then he won the Friday Grand Prix and the Sunday Grand Prix with the same horse. <laughs> I think he's the only rider that's done that other than himself. Well, he had created history with Friday, Saturday, and Sunday wins in the past. As he said to me, he said, oh, Scott, done it now it's Thursday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday, and Sunday. Incredible. And again, for those of you been with us all week long, it's been a pleasure to see this unfold. I mean, every on a different horse, a horse is just giving it all to him. But along yes. with that, watching his student Katie Dynan and listening to Katie and talking yes. to her even off air and saying, you know, this has been a, it's been a thrill for me. What a year for me. But also, she said, I get now why I live over those gymnastics That's at home. Right. I get right. why McLean has me working without my stirrups. I get why he has me jumping all these low jumps and understanding my horses a little bit more. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Yeah. Well, we've had a wonderful day here. We've had a chance to watch one of the great Grand Prix in North America, even in the world, here with the FTI $250,000 Grand Prix. We've had a chance to see two of the greatest U.S. riders in our sport Absolutely. go out and perform at their best. Well, perform Wonderful at their best jumping. and listen to our crowd. McLean Ward now has a following in this country. Let's face it. We've been through so much with him over the years. Of course, the ups and there the downs. There he is. There he is yep. on our screen. The great Antares beginning to accumulate a string of international victories. He won the Grand Prix of Dublin. He's won uh, this is now another great win on this fantastic horse's resume. What an exciting day again for show jumping in our country, certainly. Our weather stayed with us. We've all been on pins and needles because of Irene, and then once it left and got the horse show going again, jam-packed horse show. Well, it's very encouraging. For those of us that want to see the United States excel at the Pan American Games as well as at the Olympics in London to see the wonderful horses and riders perform here today, to see Antares in this kind of form, to see Yuseko in that kind of form, Norman De La Joya with an up-and-coming young horse. Well, and there's, really the, there's the, the families coming out. The Dinan family is coming out and watching McLean. I mean, he really has his own fan club, but it's really been created here. 13 years old when I first dealt with him, I was helping him deal with the, the press, literally. Yeah. He was had just won the Speed Derby here as a 13-year-old, and he said to me the other day, he said, do you remember when that was? He said, I turned to you, and he said, at that time, there must have been 20 press coming at him, and he turned to me, and he was white, and he goes, what do I do? And I said, from this point forward, every word you say is going to be quoted. <laughs> he, he reminded me again uh, the other day. Now, when you get a chance to talk to McLean later, I, I'd really like to know where he thinks he beat Kent. Where does where did he pick off that two tenths of a second? I think that's a really good question because again, that's the strategy that people need to understand. And as many people have come to us this week, they've been listening to the commentary and they really enjoyed listening to you speak as far as from the horseman's point of view as well as all the riders that have been in. Mm -hmm. And they just said, "This is what we need to do: is educate our public a little bit more about our sport. What's it take?" I mean, I, I there know he is. There he is, our champion. Taking home the $75,000 first prize, the FTI Consulting World Cup Grand Prix. Just fantastic. And it's a $250,000 overall prize. That's correct. The first prize, the winner's share is $75,000. Yeah. 
There's the amazing <laughs> young horse, seven-year-old stallion Royce. I'm calling him Rolls Royce now for now. Oh, he on. sure I'll tell is. You what after today? <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> We were so lucky with the weather. Irene came, cleared out all the bad weather, and left us with nothing but five wonderful days of show jumping. Seven days of show jumping wrapped into five. I mean, they really did a, one heck of a job, this gang. They really did. i got to get FTI on the side of my hat like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. I think you have... It might have cost you less. I think you have more than just an FTI hat, my friend. You have another check here. Dennis Shaughnessy, talk about what it's like, again, being a part of show jumping. Most importantly, history here. Well, number one, it, it's great to be associated with the best, and I'm, I'm obviously standing next to the best. I mean, he, yeah, he has not only, you know, won this, you know, and many other events on, on one of the most, I think you would agree, spectacular horses show jumping is seen in Sapphire, but then he comes in now with a new horse in a very exciting, you know, uh, jump off and wins it again. So, uh, you know, we, we're, we're delighted, you know, we were kidding him as he was walking the course. Uh, uh, and he promised me he'd win, and he, and he delivered, so uh, it was great. Well, he delivered, but you know, we had, a, we had a joke because every day I've had an interview, well, for the past three days. Not only did he win Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today, but I said to him, I said, well, I think you've just created history. He goes, shh, don't say a thing about Sunday, whatever you do. Superstitious guy. You know, uh, you know, great thanks to FDI, and obviously, Dennis, you know, uh, FDI is a great company, but Dennis is a great sportsman and mm -hmm. supports a lot of different sports. And, and obviously, show Jimmy, you've been great, and, and thank you. I, it's wonderful to have you here. You know, again, as I always say, I'm lucky to have the horses and the owners that I have, and same people with me since uh, I was doing ponies up on top of the hill there. So we've come a long way, and this has been a great place for us. Well, you've come a long way, but you've also, you always talk about your team. And at the end of the day, Dennis, you know, you have horses, you know what it takes to get this done. And I think that's it. You know, we see. Lee riding the horses. We see Erica riding the horses. We see your same team week in and week out, and that's what it comes down to. Well, I think it's the same in sports as in business. You know, it's the people around you and the vision, and uh, you know, we just try to work hard every day. No, no, I think I, I agree with McLean. Look, I think he, you know, he's a consummate professional too. Everything McLean does is very well organized. His approach to the course is well organized. The way he he rides is very disciplined and calm. And and, and gee, guess what? The animals perform. Absolutely. And so I, I think it's great partnership. You pick good horses, and, and the results speak for themselves. Well, and as Katie Dynan said, we had her on camera yesterday, and she said, Scott, <laughs> now I know why those gymnastics at home <laughs> are so right. beneficial. Well, again, sponsors and horsemen like this, they don't come along like this every day. We can't thank you enough. Again, great show jumping here at the Hampton Classic. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage here. Stay with us. We'll always have more here year after year here at the Hampton Classic. Classic. Well, we hope we'll be seeing you here next year, my friend. And thank you again for your sponsorship. I hope, I hope we write another check next I, year. I, I hope so too. I'll see friend. you in Florida. We'll see you again. Right. Exactly. <laughs>